What's up? My name is Jeanette, also known as Misfit Vegan. I'm going to talk to you guys about something today, as you can see in the title. Um, I just did an interview with a Berlin TV show, so I'm feeling good, feeling like somebody. And today I want to talk to you about how to believe that you can stay healthy. A lot of us don't believe it, and it's totally normal because the action comes before the belief. You see, you're going to have to have a craving, okay? Fight that craving, stand in front of that craving, look that craving dead in the eye and say, no more, no more. And you're going to have to choose nice cream or grapes or oranges or a melon or papaya or s something healthy, a salad, okay, a wrap. You're going to make uh, zucchini noodles. You're going to do something that's going to say no more and the action is going to come before the belief. And then after you take that action, after you don't give in to that craving and you don't have those chips and you don't eat that chocolate when you have your period and you're so stressed and you're craving it, after you do that, and you say no, and you choose fruit, well then you're gonna start to, wow, wait, maybe I can do this. Because you see, you gotta prove it. You gotta prove it first. You're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna wake up and say, you know what, I can do this. No, you're gonna prove that you can do this, and then you're gonna say, I can do this. The action comes before the belief, my boo. That's why you're having trouble. That's why you're having trouble on this diet, sticking to a healthy vegan diet. Because you think you're going to have to believe it and then it's going to come true. No, you're going to have to do it anyway when you don't want to do it. You're going to have to choose fruit when you want to choose chocolate. And that's the truth. I feel like I'm about to sneeze right now. Hold on. Sorry. Am I going to sneeze? Okay. Now I'm good. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. That's the short video. Um, I recommend that you stop selling yourself short. I recommend that you stop thinking that a donut or chocolate or chips or bread has more power than you, okay? Your willpower is stronger than the willpower of bread, okay? You don't need that shit. In fact, you've already proven that you can't eat it and feel good. So why do you keep doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result? Do something different. Get it out of your house. Get way more fruit and veggies in your house, okay? And if you're saying, well, I can't get it out of my house because I live with people that eat these things. Well, put it away, out of sight, out of mind. You are 90% more likely to eat something if you can see it. So get it out. Get a container, put it in the cupboard, put a blanket over it. If it has to be in the fridge, put it in a drawer where only you can't see it. All you can see is the fruit and vegetables, Okay, in the beginning, you're going to have to do this. And then after every time you ch make the right decision, deci blah, blah, blah. after every time you make the right decision and you choose health instead of sickness, you choose wealth instead of poverty mentality, you choose, choose being a volunteer instead of a victim, you choose being a creator instead of a victim, you choose the life you want instead of the life you have or have always had. Every time you choose this, you get stronger and stronger and you believe in yourself more and you trust yourself more. You're not going to trust yourself until you prove that you can. Hmm. Yeah, write that one down. Because you've been lying to yourself for so long. So it's like, of course you don't trust yourself anymore. Who would trust a liar? So now you got to start saying something and doing it, whether that's five minutes. Okay, so like right now. Why don't you do something that you can do for five minutes? Maybe it's squats or maybe go for a walk for five fucking minutes. Maybe you're going to meditate for five minutes or you're going to read five pages of a book. Say you're going to do something and do it right now, right after this video. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to feel a little different. You're going to feel a little, ooh, hold, hold on. Did I, just, did I just do that thing that I said I was going to do? And that's the beginning of your self-love healing journey. You know, giving up, the foods that you don't want to eat, it's more than it's, it's more than the food. There's something else going on here. And that is you've lost faith and trust in yourself. You don't like yourself anymore. So why would you listen to yourself? Who would listen to somebody they, that has lied to them and, don't, and that you don't like and you don't trust? So do me a favor and start small. Start with something that's five minutes a day. And just know that you're going to have to do it anyway, whether you want to or not. And then after you do it, you're going to feel so good. <sighs> this morning I went to yoga. I didn't want to do it, even though I love yoga. I was tired. I was up late last night. You know, God only knows what I was doing. I was editing a video or something. No, I don't know. I was doing something on the computer. Oh, I was editing a, uh, a meal plan guide. 
okay? So I was putting together that meal plan guide and um, I was just up way too late and, and then the alarm went off this morning and I was like, I don't want to do it. And then I said to myself, no, I've got to do it anyway. I've got to do it anyway because I get to, okay? That's my mental hack. I get to do it. I don't have to go to yoga. I don't have to eat healthy. I don't have to do this video. I don't have to do a damn thing. But I get to. Mm. I get to make a smoothie for breakfast. I get to have grapes for lunch. I get to make a big, amazing salad for dinner. Okay? There's a lot of people in this world that don't get to do what we get to do. And I get to go to yoga. So I'm going to motherfucking go to yoga. Change your mentality. It'll change your goddamn life. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. And if you like this kind of content... Give it a thumb, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye. Oh, and if you have any questions for me, leave them down below and I will make a video about them. Thank you so much for being here. I love you. Please love yourself enough to do something today to move the needle forward to the life and the body and the health that you really want. I'll see you soon, boo. Bye.